So how do songs evolve over time so that you can polish them up and, and maybe take them into performance? And one of the things that I'm always struck with is, is how a song morphs and changes just through, you know, the repetition of performing it, but also how you build on your technique and stuff so that when you actually get out and try to play it live, you have a, a baseline that, meaning a baseline of performance that you can rely on and that you know in your mind you have before you get in front of people with the tune or get in a public setting. And I think for me, songs will start in sort of crude form. And then from there, you know, they evolve to have different little ornaments and other elements in them that will give them a little bit more, I'd say depth, but also a little more consistency. And so, for example, the song, This Train, the groove starts first. That's what came to me first in writing the tune. And so looking at the guitar in performance, trying to refine what I was doing, a lot of stuff cropped in over time from the basic pattern that I was playing, particularly with my right hand, to sort of build this intro groove into a larger, more involved, moving uh, piece of music. And so it started out just being very simple. And I was hitting the top with my little finger there. And then I realized, you know what? I'm going to need more womp. So I transferred that to being my palm. From there, and this t takes a couple of days, I'm kind of giving you the fast forward effect here. Then I brought in a metronome and tried to just figure out what other space is in here and how can I occupy that space but also add something else. The bass is cool, but I need something else in there. And so I started to add this little thumb and first finger interaction that happens on the bass string. Just that little, that became another refinement and adds another little sort of swagger to the whole thing. And I thought, well, okay, that's cool. What's a variation on that so that I can then build on this momentum that I have while also doing something slightly different. So... Just playing that little triplet. Alternating between those and using my palm to create a little bit of a funkier tone. It's really fun. And then I thought, well now, and again, this is over the course of many days and over a lot of time and sort of getting this groove together. I thought, well, I'm gonna try and add something in the higher register. I have these other strings that seem like they would be really great counterpoint answers to what's happening in the groove. I need some sort of whole notes held out.
that's a really challenging thing for me to play. And it's exciting to go to it in performance when I do because I don't feel entirely safe. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy about live performance, that adrenaline is your friend. And so not being 100% sure, not being 100% comfortable is part of the joy of doing it. It's, I think, what makes ski racers stand in, at the top of the run and think about what they're going to do. It's certainly um, what compels a lot of people in motorsports to push hard. So it's that same sort of adrenalized feeling that can really fuel these moments and push us forward. But in refining the song and bringing it more ornamentation over time, we have a richer experience with the tune and we can therefore be more invested in it. So I hope that helps you. <laughs>